Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to the vlog. Today you join me. I'm actually on my way to Killarney National Park and on the way I was driving on the road and I spotted this beautiful woodland that you see here with me. And it was actually the light that stopped me in my tracks and I said, you know what? I've never been here to this woodland before. It is full of pretty much evergreen trees, but as you can see, the bracken has gone completely brown now because we are in autumn in Ireland. So I said I'd come in and have a look and see what type of photograph I could get. Now, the one thing I'd noticed even the moment I walked in here is that it's really going to be dependent on the light. So the more light that I have, the better the photo photograph is going to be. Flat light is not really going to make anything pop, but what I'm looking at here is down this pathway, as you can see here behind me, and it's finishing up with a tree that's there in the distance. Now, if the light will hit that tree, I think it will be a nice shot. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put on my 7200 and I'm going to see what type of photograph I can get here, just picking out certain areas within this woodland with the light when it hits the subject. So that's what we're going to do today. So come on, let's see how we go today. Camera now set up and I'm all I'm doing now is waiting for the light. Today is quite a cloudy day actually. We were after nearly 24 hours of rain yesterday so it's passing now and we are getting breaks in the clouds. So what I'm all I'm doing now is waiting for a gap that I can see actually here and the clouds are moving this way. So once that gap appears then I should get some light on that subject which hopefully then will be able to give me the shot that I want to achieve. What I'm doing actually is I'm using the 7200 actually on the R5, it's the 2.8 lens, it's actually a phenomenally sharp lens but for me I'm not using it at 2.8, I actually have it up as far as f11 because I want to have as much depth of field as possible and I'm framing the shot as well that I get a bit of the bracken on the bottom of the screen and then I have that tree which is taking up the majority of the screen and I do think that once the light will hit that it will be a nice photograph so it's just a matter now of just waiting for that light and then I'll grab the shot. The light is well and truly teasing me now, so it's what drew me into this woods and as I got the shot set up, typically then the bank of clouds had come in. There was that gap that I mentioned a moment ago, but it was a bit higher than where the sunlight would actually have penetrated through, so I got no light on this subject. But nonetheless, I still think it'll be a nice enough shot, not as nice as it could have been, but I'm going to explore this woods now a bit more and see if I can find some autumn colours mixed in with all these evergreens. I'll show you this shot anyway now, and then we'll move on and see what else we can find. now I spotted a small bit of colour actually here inside in the woods so I've just dropped the bag, taken the camera, handheld and gone 2.8 actually to get a relatively fast shutter speed and I want to go 2.8 because I want to focus on the colours and the leaves and hopefully have everything else fall off into the background but I really really do need the light I think for this to pop and again looking at the clouds that are behind you it doesn't look like I'm going to get light anytime soon but Nonetheless, it's still good to get a couple of shots anyway of some colourful leaves and we'll continue on now and see what else we can find. Along here now this woodland has gained elevation 
and I've come around and I've reached the outside of the woods and there's a bit of a gap then in the trees and I'm looking over at the mountain ranges there that are beyond Loch Lean in Killarney and right now there's a gap in the clouds and it's being lit up nicely by the sun so I'm going to take off some um, handheld shots here with the 70 to 200 and see actually what can I gain or what, can I, what type of shot I can get. Now I have some of the ferns as well that are here so I need to get above those but what I'm going to do is try and zoom in and again I'm going to go for a pretty fast shutter speed just to see what type of image I can gain and what I can get. There's no real clouds on, or no real atmosphere or clouds on the mountains but it is actually quite a nice scene so I'm going to try and get as many distractions out of the image as possible and yeah I do think that's another nice shot, it's a handheld shot anyway with the 70 to 200 um, it's actually quite a perfect lens for what I'm looking to do here so yeah, I'm going to continue on a bit further in into this woods and see what else I can explore but I'm going to wait here now just because the clouds are starting to move here again so I'm going to take a couple of other shots there now as well and see what else I can get from here. see now the light has come out so I'm going to scramble back upon myself and see how it lights up all those ferns and maybe that will be what I'm looking for in this woods today so yeah scramble back down now quickly before I miss this light this light is well and truly teasing me today so you saw there, I just briefly got the camera set up and you saw the light that was on the leaves that I was actually shooting earlier. And just by the time I got the camera out of my bag, the light disappeared. Still a small bit of a residue of light. It might light up again here. I think it actually is now. So I'm gonna grab this before I miss it again. But yeah. The light is definitely teasing me today. again here to go back to the original spot that I would have had with this tree here in the distance and I've actually changed composition now as well slightly I've moved further but a small bit forward but once again the clouds have blocked the light and I seem to be timing it wrong so what I'm going to do is keep my composition here I'm going to wait and hope that I get a brief gap in the clouds if I do I'll take that shot and I'll show you that shot but I'm going to finish up this episode anyway of this vlog from chasing the light around like a headless chicken really inside in this woods but it's been a nice place to explore not many uh, colorful trees actually um, that I found but I'm sure there's plenty of other areas as well that I'll probably discover as well on my uh, trip from today so if it's your first time on the channel please do hit the subscribe button give me a like give me a comment and until the next time it's not before.